Hello, I'm Lucas, and this is um, Strike the Sun MD and the uh, self quarantine I've put myself in here in Shanghai, in China, is uh, taking its toll on me. I haven't been able to read for a while. So I just can't make myself do it. But I want to uh, make a video. Just to distract me. Uh, and I've been reading this very slowly. Because uh, I've just been stressed out of my mind. Um, the problem according to the official numbers, is not entirely grave in Shanghai. There's 200-something cases. So there's probably more, but those are the confirmed ones. Um, anyway, I've been reading, as I mentioned before, uh, The Decameron by Giovanni Boccaccio. And, uh, I would be done with it if this was a normal week and life went on normally, but there are a ton of, uh, the, the stories in this are amazing. I've read three days worth, so 30 different stories, and, uh, they're not all good, but there's some, uh, highlights for each day with each theme. And I'm sure that the next 70 will have some treasures as well. But I don't want to talk about the the camera so much as I want to talk about the end notes that help contextualize the uh, stories. And I was curious to know, how do you read your end notes? Your, uh, what is it called? Uh... There's a word for it when it's like, like the story itself is the text. Uh, paratext, I think, is the term, which is uh, anything that is not the story itself. Anything that could be on the cover, for example, or the back uh, to help introduce you to the story. Uh, I suppose the quote up there is part of the story. Uh, and of course, all these wonderful end notes here. Uh, notes for the seventh day, for the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, every story. Uh, I was wondering, how do you read them? Do you read them as they come along? Uh, and let's just see. Oh, I found a perfect page. Uh, for example, on this page, uh, let's see here. Their names were Renuccio Palermini and Alessandro Ciarmontesi. And there's a little one there, if you can see that clearly. Uh, which would indicate that the first note in the back for that story of that day will direct you to the information you need to know in case you're curious about it. Uh, yeah. That's what I was interested in. Do you read them as they come along, or do you read them before you start the chapter, before you start, in this case, this, each individual story? Do you just skip them all together? Uh, what about if they are footnotes? So they don't go at the back, but they go at the uh, bottom. Oh, yeah, here we go. As you can see, here's the text. This is Dreyer's English. A great style book. I have now officially turned into my mother. I don't know where that is indicated. Oh, yeah. Literally, a respectable word that has been distorted into the intensifier from hell. No, you did not literally die laughing. No, I don't care that all your f cool friends use literally thus. If all your cool friends literally jumped off the Empire State Building, would you? And then there's an asterisk. Uh, and then at the bottom it says, I have now officially turned into my mother. Uh, 
I don't know if you saw all that over there and over there. Um, the apartments have these rules where you can only take garbage out uh, two times during the day. Uh, and the apartments are also on some kind of quasi lockdown and the garbage bins are not being watched during the times they normally are, so it's difficult to take out the trash. <laughs> anyway, I, I don't know if you saw it. Uh, there's not a whole lot, and mostly it's just the water that I need to buy to have clean drinking water, because the taps here, um, you can boil the water, but that won't get rid of the metal. Talking about paratext, not about... Uh, my life's anxieties. So what do you do? Do you skip the uh, uh, the footnotes, the end notes? Uh, do you read them as they come along? Do you read them when you get to the page or at the af before you read the story or the chapter or after you read the chapter or right when you get to the page or after you read the page? Uh, and what about, for example, this book also has them. Uh, uh, introductions. Introductions to the story here. Uh, translator's introduction. Uh, do you read those uh, before, after, never? Do you skip them? I used to skip them because uh, I thought that's not the story. I came here for the story. Um, I was a foolish fool then, but uh, I'm in a much better mood already. This has been nice. Man, I have been depressed all day. Uh, for the coronavirus and uh, the Iowa caucus, my home state. It is a mess. Uh, but yeah, th there's the footnotes, endnotes, the introductions, and of course, uh, for something like the um, Norton Critical Editions, here is Leaves of Grass, which I have abused. Uh, we have the, uh, can you get that? The criticism, uh, which also comes at the end to help kind of like end notes, uh, further contextualize things and explain things or to have be the critical apparatus to uh, explore the ideas of Walt Whitman in this case or some other poet or author or work, um, if it's Norton or, you know, some other kind of book. Um, I suppose some of these other things are also paratext. Like, do you read the uh, <laughs> my, uh, things that explain who the person is? Or like this page? I don't think I usually look at this page. I forget what that page is called, uh, but it's the real first page. I don't know. Uh, how do you handle your paratext? Your footnotes, end notes, critical apparatus at the end, uh, introductions, and anything else that I did not mention, or, you know, the backs of the books. Um, for me, I, I read the introductions now. I read the critical apparatus at the end when I'm done reading it, or maybe a little bit later when, you know, when I want to digest a little. Uh, what do you do? I don't know what to say. I, I can't think right now. <laughs> um, for the footnotes and endnotes, I will read them as they come. Uh, for the the camera, and I've been reading them before the story, because the stories are pretty short, so it won't be hard for me to remember each thing. Um, that's kind of a case-by-case -case basis, but I always read those, too. I'm just going to end the video now, because I've said what I wanted to say. Uh, please let me know what you how you read these, if you read these. Thank you. Bye.